So the second semi-final of the men's flyweight division, 52 kilo weighted boxers, sees Uzbekistan going against the Welsh ace, Andrew Selby. Yazurbek Latipov is on your screens. Just 20 years of age, 154 centimetres in height. And no matter what the outcome of this competition for this young man, he's on record for a, a massive PB, a personal best, a career high. And like all of the boxers who made the quarterfinals, delighted to have made the Olympic qualification. But one of the four British GB squad boxers for the 2012 Olympics is up against the Uzbeki boxer, and that is Andy Selby in the blue corner. He's from Barry Island in Wales, 23 years of age, out of the Splot Adventure ABC Club, coached by Pat Mahoney, and of course the European champion at the recent championships in Ankara, Turkey. There's the confirmation of that. European Championship comes into this World Championship event ranked six. And when he took that European title, the first Welshman to win a European title for 86 years. Older brother, Lee Selby, now a pro, so it's very much a family affair, the boxing game for the Selbys. But the Uzbekistan boxers and I think the Ukrainian boxers, for me, Castle, at these championships seem to be n nations that have improved so much since the last Worlds and the Olympic Games. Absolutely. And, you know, let's not discount Latipov. He is a two-time Uzbeki national champion in 2008 and 2009. And most importantly, he's boxed right here in Azerbaijan in the past. In 2007, he boxed in the Aiba World Cadet Championship. So he's familiar with the country. He's familiar with the stage. Let's see if he's familiar enough with Andrew Selby. Let's see if the Welsh Terrier can sort this one out. There's another story that we have to tell about Andy Selby because he's locked in a little bit of a battle with another British boxer, which is Khalid Yafai. They've both qualified for the Olympics at the same weight. Now, the way that a box-off can be avoided by Selby Castle is that it is Selby wins the World Championship, he goes to the Olympics. If he gets knocked out here, he will have to have a private box-off with Khalid Yafai to decide which one of the British flyweights goes to the 2012 London Games. That's a tough process. Yes, it sure is, and it's not uncommon. It happens in uh, other countries as well, even in the United States. Those boxers that haven't placed or written their ticket for London at this event actually have to go back to the States and perhaps engage in a box-off just to hold on to this position, which was the U.S. Olympic trial winners. So it is a, it's a tough sport, and there's a lot of competition around the world. And you're right, Selby's in quite a predicament here. Well, we've uh, the, Selby is the third of the four GB boxers in action today in the semi-finals. Luke Campbell, congratulations, has gone through to the final in his division. Sadly, Thomas Stalker was uh, unable to go into those finals, and beaten in the semis. Let's see what Selby can do. Good start for the Welsh boxer. Settling nicely, but fair to say, so is the Uzbeki boxer too. Yeah, so far it's a tactical, uh, ta a tactical uh, brainstorm, if you will. Both of these boxers haven't really gotten off yet. However, there's a lot of moving, a lot of posturing, and there's a nice quick jab by Latipov to try and set the stage for perhaps an onslaught with the right hand. Uh, we mentioned earlier that the pressure had been taken off some of the other British boxers, knowing that they'd hit that qualification, but of course that hasn't been taken off for Selby. And let's hope that that added pressure doesn't affect the Welshman's game. <laughs> Latipov getting through the... But using the inside of the glove, the caution from the referee. That's right, and Latipov looks pretty cool in there. He looks like he is doing a decent job measuring his man, but Selby is just staying on top of him and not really giving him much room to breathe. As we've seen so many times at these World Championships, sizing each other up in the first round, and then just about towards the end, it all starts to open up, and that looks to be no different in this semi-final. The Welshman in the blue, of course, Latipov of Uzbekistan in the red. On his toes, nice and balanced, Selby, poised to strike. Oh, that was a good right shot from the from Latipov. 
You just noticed also a right to the belly by Selby. It was well placed, and a lot of boxers don't put enough energy and commitment into the body shots. However, when you've got boxers moving this fast like two Tasmanian devils <laughs> doing a dance, uh, the body shots really tend to slow their opponent down, and they're, they're well served. Well, a better finish for the Welshman, but I think the Uzbekistan boxer was putting in a little better work in the first minute and a half of that opening round. We'll wait and see for the judges' scores to come through. But, um, again, similar styles, Castle, from both of the boxers. Yeah, and you also have the situation with a southpaw and a orthodox boxer going. You see those two lead feet, how they tend to trip on one another and slip up. That's going to happen throughout the duration of the bout. The question of who could get their foot on the outside of the other's lead foot will perhaps indicate who's going to fare better in this match. Well, a disappointment for Andrew Selby. He's trailing by two in the first round and he'll need to keep on top of that in the second. So often we've seen boxers Trailing by two in the first, it goes the same way again in the second, and trying to pull back those four in the third becomes an uphill struggle that can be not be achieved. And you can see Selby just looking a little more defensive now, and Latipov by far the more confident of the two. Yeah, well, Latipov had the benefit of two points going into this round to help confirm that level of confidence which he brought with him, and... You're going to see Selby now needing to start to put his punches together more and throw more combinations because, as you just rightly pointed out, Nick, the guy with the lead generally has the ability to dictate the pace and play the counterpuncher role, the spoiler role, and Latipov is not going to be able to waste valuable seconds as the round continues. Again, Latipov, his jab is working well. There's the big... Punch that he's trying to swing around the outside, and again, there's another nice one two for Uzbekistan in the red. Selby just missing the target, very close. But Latipov is reading his attack very well, we have to say. I'd like to see Selby start to use more feints so that he could get inside more. It looks like Latipov, looking to play the role of counterpuncher, is going to wait for Selby to commit and then try and pick him off. If Selby could throw a, a body feint, a hand feint. Beautiful one-two from the Welshman. It's as if he heard you there, Castle, because as he starts to do just that, yeah, he puts in a lovely combination and picks off two very quick points. And the referee is going to separate them, let them square off again here, just past the halfway point of round number two. Sneaky left hand on the break. The referee is going to caution Selby. Figured if he could get away with it, he would. Welshman's got to keep the tempo going up here. He's uh, having a better scoring round, I'd say, than the first. But equally so, Latipov. Oh, and there's another good hook from the Welshman. And he needs to replay that again. Latipov's letting him get him into the corner and the ropes, and they're trading blows, and there are two good combinations there from Selby. Much better stuff from the Welshman. That's right, and Selby's doing a great job showing more angles. The way he was able to get in there was by using angles and going downstairs and back upstairs, and even there staying in the pocket when he had Latipov on the ropes. Instead of retreating, he stayed on him and just was able to bend back to slide away from the punches while continuing to throw on his own. Much better boxing from... The Welshman. Well, here's Latipov starting to get a little tired because the second and the final third of this round is starting to look a lot better for Selby. Now it looks like the Welshman's in control rather than Latipov. And there's another beautiful one two combination. And is he down for a count? No. Good punches nonetheless from Selby. He needs to finish off this round in the same style. Yes, he does. And Andrew Selby trailing by two in the first. Looks to have turned it around, certainly by my card, here in the box in the second. It'll be interesting, if not tied, 
the Welshman could just go ahead after that round. Yeah, I really, really like the way Selby turned it around in the second round. You saw he had a lot more confidence, and as a result, he was able to land more punches by staying on top of Latipov. I don't think Latipov expected that from Selby coming into the second round. He seemed to have been caught a little off guard by those punches and footwork of Andrew Selby. And these replays are showing that the Welshman having a much more... Look at the, look at the information that's coming in. And no matter whatever that information was on after the first round, it's worked on the second. See for yourself there, 12-6 to Selby. And remember, the highest and lowest marks are disregarded, and we take a mean average of the three. And that is a great second round from Andrew Selby, who now goes four clear of the Uzbeki boxer going into the third and final round. Well, we were getting a little worried in the first round, but now he turns the tables, and he's got to do the same in the last three minutes. Yeah, except the difference is that things are going to change right now because now Latipov is the man four points down. He's not going to be able to play that counter-punching role, and you won't see Selby coming in as much. My guess is you're going to see Latipov playing the aggressor, and now Selby's going to have to play the role of counterpuncher. Let's see how well Latipov could do now that the tables are turned. Well, it's a good start to the third and final play for the Welshman. A lovely combination. And again, putting two punches in on the counter. And his confidence is back. His confidence is high. And now the sense of urgency seems to be coming from Latipov rather than the Welshman in the first round. Sneaky right hand by Latipov. May have even scored. Selby has to be careful. He can't, he can't take it too easy in this round. He needs to keep the pressure on and, to, as you said, Nick, to box exactly as he did in the second round. Yeah. Well, Selby... If he can book himself a spot in the final and win the World Championship, the Olympic selection dilemma for the GB squad will be settled. And I'm sure before he came into the ring here today, that was something that was ticking over at the back of his mind. His great friend but great opponent at this weight, Khalid Yafai, sadly knocked out in the quarterfinals. Not knocked out literally, but uh, beaten in the quarterfinals and failed to go through to the semis. Otherwise, we could have seen Selby go up against Yafai. What Latipov is going to need to do now, with just a minute and a half remaining, and perhaps still down on the score, he's going to need to be the effective aggressor. He needs to cut off the ring. Selby doing a great job. Look at the lateral movement by Selby. He's moving to his left. He's moving to his right. He's not trying to allow Latipov to get inside and score. This is going to be Latipov's mission for the next minute. He needs to actually cut off the ring, and he needs to start going to the body of Selby to slow him down. Selby's putting in some good jab work as well. And trying to show Latipov that he's sharp and confident. Just don't get too carried away or cocky, Selby, because... As Castle Chalice, our expert in the commentary box, has pointed out, this is good ring work from the Welshman. Almost 40 seconds left on the clock in the third and final round. Four points clear, Andy Selby coming into this... Last round of the bout, and 30 seconds now. This is a very close third and final round. Latipov cannot afford to follow Selby around the ring now. He cannot wait for opportunities to present himself. He needs to create those opportunities, Nick. There's less than 20 seconds. Oh, and down look at that! Goes Fantastic! Latipov. Right hook. No count from the referee, but it's a point score, surely. And it's given Selby the confidence now just to dance around the ring. And again, tries exactly the same tactic. There goes the bell. My card in front of me has Selby on top. I'm not sure about you, Castle, but as you pointed out, Latipov not quite effective or efficient enough in that third round. Yeah, he just didn't do enough after uh, clearly winning the first round and after clearly giving up the second. He knew what his task was in the third, and he just could not accomplish it. The Welshman played a very smart game plan and particularly in the third round was able to keep Satipov off him I don't think excuse me Latipov I don't think he did enough not in the third
What a spectacular result for the Welshman from Barry. From quarterfinals and Olympic qualification to semi-finals and now a shot at World Championship gold. What a brilliant performance from the European champion who's one step away from adding World Championship gold to this year's tally. 5-3, 12-6, 6-4, Andrew Selby goes through to the final.